Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the year 2020. And as always, I've brought you some of the amazing, unique apps that will be really useful for you throughout the year. I know I'm a bit late this time, but you know, it's better late than never. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is TypeWise. TypeWise comes with a keyboard layout specifically designed for smartphones, which is different from your usual keyboard layouts. TypeWise aims to reduce your typos by using a hexagon layout, where keys are 70% larger and much easier to hit, which reduces typos by 80%. It also comes with some intuitive gestures. You can swipe up to capitalize a letter, swipe left to delete or swipe right to restore. It also has smart autocorrect feature where it learns what you type and helps you write perfect sentences. The other great thing about this keyboard is that it runs locally on your device and none of your data is transmitted to the cloud and doesn't require any permissions. Next app is Cloudflare DNS. So the Cloudflare DNS app comes with this 1.1.1.1 DNS which makes your internet faster. And it also comes with WAR, which is a VPN which makes your internet safer. So together, this app makes your internet not only fast but also safe. So it's a really must-have app that you should have on your phone. Next app is Knot. Knot is an app that uses artificial intelligence to automatically turn your notes into review quizzes. This is a really good app for students to learn and revise their notes with this effective way. This app envisions a new future of learning, one which allows you to utilize the notes you have typed to help you learn material faster and better. Next app is Microsoft Office. Well, this is a all new Microsoft Office app by Microsoft and the only one you might need. This new app combines the Word, Excel, and PowerPoint app into a single place. You can create, edit, and work together on a document with other in real time. You can store and access documents in cloud or on your device. You can snap a picture of your document and turn it into a editable Word file. You can transform a picture of a table into an Excel spreadsheet so you can work with the data. And PowerPoint helps you design a presentation by simply selecting the pictures you want to use from your phone. You can also automatically create enhanced digital images of whiteboards and documents with Office Lens feature integrated into the app. And there are more amazing features it has to offer. Please go and check it out. The next app is Mad Lips. Mad Lips lets you make instant voiceover and subtitle parodies to share with everyone. You can select from thousands of ready to go clips for you to dub, sub, watch and share. Your profile displays everything you have made and you can also showcase your best work in your very own form. And you can make really amazing and funny memes for using this app and share it on social media like Facebook and Instagram. I've already seen many people using this app to make funny memes. So yeah, you should check this app out. Next app is Chrono. Chrono is an app that keeps you in sync with all your notifications or calendar events between your phone and your desktop. It mirrors your mobile notifications on your browser you will get push alerts for notification on your PC. You can clear notifications from your browser and Corno will clear it from your phone as well. You can dismiss calls, send instant SMS replies from your browser. You can take actions on notification from the browser and the same will do on your phone. You can send replies of any chat, email app, including WhatsApp, Messenger, Gmail, etc. And the notifications are end-to-end -end encrypted by default and the encryption keys are shared offline with your browser and app via QR code. And you can hide sensitive notification data with one click as well. And you can also share your clipboard between your browser and device with a single click. And the another great feature is that if you're not able to find your phone, then you can ring your phone directly from your browser. So if you're using a PC and you don't want to pick up your phone again and again to check notification, then you can use this app to access all your notification directly on your browser. Next step is blindly. Well, like they say, love is blind. Blindly is a dating app based on the same concept. Blindly will initiate a call with someone matching your criteria. If the person answers, it will start a three minute blurred video call with easy icebreakers. During the three minute video call, women control the blur. 
If both of you like the three minute video call, it goes into a chat so you can take things from there and maybe even meet up. So it's an amazing dating app with a really different concept and I think you must check it out and use it and share it with your friends as well. Well, next app is Spark. Spark is an amazing email app for your phone that comes with tons of amazing features that aren't available in your typical email application. It has features like intelligent email prioritization, noise reduction, it bubbles important messages from real people straight to the top of your mailbox. You can pin and reply to those and batch archive the rest. You can simply swipe at the bottom of any email card or folder to read, archive, delete, and move all the emails from that card. Spark Mail reduces the noise by only notifying you about the emails from people that you know. And it it has some other cutting edge email tools like snooze email, send email later, reminders and follow ups, advanced customization, pen emails, smart search, undo sent email and many more. If you are tired of your current email application or you want something with full of these features, then you should definitely check this out and use it as your primary email application. Next app is Air Message. Have you ever wanted to use iMessage on your Android phone? Well, Air Message makes it easy to use iMessage on your Android phone. You can send and receive messages using Apple's messaging network. You can chat together with your friends and groups and can share images, videos, documents, and more. However, you will need a Mac computer to use this app. Next app is subscription. Almost everyone now pays for services on a regular basis, right? Whether it's Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon, you quickly lose track of what you actually spend. With this app, you simply enter the existing subscription and you have an easy overview. You can create regular and one-time subscription. You can enter the billing period to see the next payment date. You can add important data to each subscription like, you know, payments, payment method and notes. This app supports 160 plus different currencies with current exchange rate. So it's a really good app you must keep on your phone to keep note of all your subscriptions. If you wanna continue it or you wanna keep track of how much you are spending monthly and etc. Next app is Vivaldi Browser. Vivaldi Browser is a Chromium based extra browser which is also now available for Android. And being a Chromium based browser means it carries the same features from the Google Chrome, but it is better in many other ways. Vivaldi browser doesn't track you like Google Chrome does. It also offers do not track functionality. It will block pop-ups and it will allow user to block JavaScript on websites for added security. Vivaldi even has a simple ad blocker enabled by default. There are tons of more features to mention, so just check this out in the App Store and no more. Next app is Deeply. Deeply is based on the idea that meditation should not be a chore. It has an inviting, colorful experience where visual styling, animation, a soft guiding voice, and music will help you to get to the relaxing state. Through Deeply, you can enjoy a variety of different mindfulness features like free guided meditations, full guided courses like single meditation, or a shorter on-the-go meditations. It has breathing exercises to relax, relieve stress, and a collection of calming nature sounds that can be layered. You can also connect your Spotify account to enjoy relaxing music and meditation. It has hand-picked collections that together with Deeply's calming visualization create an inspiring visual and audio experience. You can also design your own library if you are using YouTube. Next app is Now. Now is a social journaling platform to overcome negative feelings. The AI friend who can improve your mental well-being will help you. It's a kind of a voice-based social journal for people with ADHD, autism, dyslexia, anxiety, depression, loneliness, stress, and more. Your post will be anonymous when you share your post and the interface guide users to communicate in a positive way. All you have to do is you have to record your feelings for up to 30 seconds. You can talk to now by choosing your emotions like excited, happy, calm, or sad, or angry. And you can then share your post with others. You can also choose your post to be public or private. Next app is Station. Station is an app by Spotify which lets you easily create stations for all the music you love. Station gets you music instantly, no searching or typing needed. 
Station learns more about what you like. It creates stations packed with music you love and made just for you. Next up is Parkify. Parkify tracks your parked car without any effort. And the way it is different from Google Assistant is that it is based on Bluetooth events, which doesn't need any user interactions. It will automatically mark your car location without you have to do anything. Next app is Yodi. Yodi is a digital identity app that gives you a simple, fast, and secure way of proving who you are online and in person. You can create your Yodi using an ID document that is encrypted into unreadable data. It accepts passport, driving license, and national ID card from 160 countries. You can use Yodi to privately prove your age in convenience stores and online. You can verify people you meet online. You can prove who you are to businesses and you can log into websites without passwords. Next app is BookiePy. With BookiePy, you're able to track all of your financial activity with ease by using multiple wallets for multiple locations. You are guaranteed to never lose track of your spendings. Easily create monthly or weekly budget to go by and receive notifications for when you are nearing your limit. You can log and categorize each entry as either an expense or income, and you can complete with unique icon assigning. Each wallet has a unique daily breakdown of monthly income and expenses which enables you to analyze your monthly financial activity with ease. You can take photographs of receipts to store on their database. You can also generate instant summaries of your wallets with a tap using their CSV export feature. You can watch their tutorial videos to learn more about how Bookify really works. Next up is Aralo. Aralo offers you travel data packs at a truly local rate to over 100 plus countries globally. You can purchase a data pack before you even have to leave for your trip and never have to worry about staying connected while on your adventures. The installation only takes five minutes or less. It has easy top ups wherever you are and it keeps your number as you travel. So no more fumbling for changing of sims and no need to carry a bulky wi-fi dongle with you next app is keepo keepo is a social network app where you can share and sell or rent your stuff rarely used such as books bikes laptops snowboard etc with your friends and earn some money you can check with your friends what they have to share rent or sale keepo app helps you to organize who you lend stuff to and make notes and never lose your stuff again so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and like those apps that I have listed in this video. I hope they will be really helpful for you throughout this year. And if you enjoyed this video, then give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing different type of app videos in coming few days. So you will be getting a lots of new videos soon. So make sure that you don't miss them. All right, so I will see you in the next one.